Hey everybody, so this is going to be Girl's Guide to Jealousy plus a contest. These kind of videos are requested from me all the time since I did my Girl's Guide to Breakups video and this was recently requested by I'm Pereza Nicole. I know for a fact I'm not pronouncing that right but I'll put her name in the down bar. Um, so basically I'm going to be talking about jealousy as it pertains to relationships, um, if you're in a relationship and if you're not anymore. Um, and I'm going to present it in two scenarios with the problem, the thought process, and the solution that goes along with each one. And at the end I'm also going to talk about a contest which I'm really excited about and I hope you guys are too. So stay tuned because I will be taking advantage of the new 15 minute video allowance. Um, so I just wanted to say to begin with that this applies to all romantic relationships. I'm going to be using the pronoun he and referring to guys because that's what I have romantic experience with. But this applies to, you know, male, males, females, you know, any kind of relationship that you're in. So the first problem is one that I've experienced multiple times and I'm actually experiencing right now. When you are dating someone, there are a couple scenarios where jealousy definitely comes into play. The first one is when he goes out with friends who are single, and you know that they're all over girls. And when you get to my age, it becomes a little bit harder when drinking is involved, especially because um, my significant other and a lot of my friends who are older are able to do that, but I'm not of drinking age yet, so I can't go to bars and I can't do these sorts of things, so I'm not included in the plans, um, unfortunately. So I can't even you know, be any part of it, and just feeling, you know, un unincluded is not a word, but when you're not included in things, you know, you tend to feel jealous because you're not a part of it, and, um, but even if you are not of drinking age or, you know, you're not experiencing that, just not being included in your significant other's plans can sometimes lead to jealousy because you, you think they're hiding something or something like that. Um, and another scenario, which is pretty popular, is if he texts or talks to um, other girls or another girl in particular, and this can be made a lot worse when you know that the other girl likes him, but he is completely oblivious to it like most guys are and just, just thinks, oh, we're just friends, and he tells you that and tries to reassure you, but you know full well that she's trying to steal your man from you. So that is also a very difficult situation that can lead to a ton of jealousy. So the thought process on this, your immediate reaction is probably anger, crying, and you just want to beat the heck out of her, or maybe even him. Um, and you may, you know, forbid him to go out or tell him that he can't talk to her anymore and try to, you know, put your foot down, so to say. Um, you may scream, yell, start a fight, and pretty much right now you're in survival mode because you don't want him to go out, you don't want him to talk to the, this girl, and you're just going to try everything possible to get him not to do it. And that's basically where you're at right now in your, you know, kind of mindset. That's usually the initial reaction, and that's how jealousy kind of starts and how it is. Um, how to change it. Yelling, crying, and forbidding him to do things will push him further away from you. It'll make him want to do it more because he wants to feel like he can do what he wants. He doesn't want, you know, you telling him what to do. Just like if he told you you couldn't do something, you know, you might do it just to spite him. He's going to be the same way. Um, starting fights will definitely push him further and further away from you. Um, I know I was a huge culprit of this when I was in a relationship. Um... This happens a lot with guys. Guys are not very emotional and they tend to keep their emotions to themselves, or at least the guys I have experienced. Um, and that frustrates me because I'm a very emotional person. Um, I express my emotions, like if I'm upset you can tell like that. Um, I'm very open with all of that stuff. And when someone isn't emotional, it just kind of upsets me because I can't really see where they're at. So I would start fights to get emotion out of him and that did push him further away but you know when you're fighting you just want to feel something it doesn't matter what it is positive or negative you just want to feel like he's in it or you know and when you're in a fight like that you know he usually tells you how he feels about you and if you don't hear that often you just feel the need for it and so starting a fight kind of solves that for you but then afterwards you feel worse because you just had a fight and I did that quite a lot sad to say um but that doesn't fix anything and it does push him further away so do keep that in mind um if he is never giving you a reason not to trust him then just take a leap of faith and trust him because you're never going to get anywhere if you know you can't trust him and you know if unless he gives you a reason not to there's really no reason why you can't trust him um and 
when he is out, sorry, I'm like, I couldn't read what I wrote. And when he is out, don't text him constantly. Don't constantly ask him what he's doing. You know, give him his space. You want your space when you go out with your friends. And sometimes it may feel lopsided, like you're more into the relationship than he is. But that's usually the way that guys sometimes are. And it doesn't mean that he loves you any less or has less feelings for you. It's just the way that they are. So if you're, if he's out and, you know, you're constantly bugging him, he's probably not going to talk to you more because he's going to, you know, show you kind of thing. So you definitely want to keep that in mind and that's something you definitely don't want to do. And the huge theme of this whole video is you need to remember that you cannot control anyone else's actions but your own. You can only control your reactions to things and what you do. You cannot control him. No matter how hard you try and no matter how much you want to control him, you can't. And that is the huge thing that I've had to learn and just learn to let go of things. Control is a huge issue for jealousy because you can't control him and it scares you because you are so into the relationship and you don't want him to you know, cheat on you or do anything bad. And so you just get so wrapped up in this because you just can't control it. But that's the thing. You can't. Uh, he's going to do what he's going to do no matter what. If he's going to be faithful to you, he's going to be faithful to you. If he's going to cheat on you, he's going to cheat on you. And that's just the way it is. And you yelling and screaming and getting all worked up about it is just going to hurt you, not him. So, and it's just going to cause him to shut down. A lot of guys, the guy that I have you know, been with forever, he shuts down the second yelling starts. He's, he's done. Like, he can deal with crying because I cry all the damn time about nothing but um the second that I start yelling or you know getting really angry and worked up he's done he can't deal with it and a lot of guys are that way so keep that in mind as well solution number one the most important thing do not look through his phone do not log on to his Facebook or his email and look through his stuff because you will interpret things wrong and you are giving him no privacy and no trust and that is not a healthy relationship at all if you were doing that you need to get out if he's doing that to you that's that's just not healthy. Do not go through his phone and read things and just please, please don't do that. Um, another thing, what you should do is you should talk to him calmly once about how you are feeling. Once, okay? And calmly. And use I statements like, like, I feel like this when, you know, when this situation happens, this is how I feel. And, um, you know, just be very, you know, loving about it and tell him, you know, it's because I care about you that this, this is how I feel. And their guys okay if he doesn't change it's probably not because of you it's just the way that he is um i know i've been through this frustrating um situation more than once where, when you tell them how you feel and then you think you made headway and you think that things are going to change but they don't um and things just go back to the way that they were and that's sometimes because that is just the way they are and they're never going to change and as blunt as it sounds you need to like think about whether you can deal with that or not if that's something that you can't deal with then maybe the relationship needs to end but don't give him ultimatums like that don't say if you don't do this i'm breaking up with you because again he's gonna shut down so just calmly say it and you know just give him time and if things don't change you know then, then you're gonna have to decide but he may make little tiny changes and do not um think that they are significant because even the small changes really do mean a lot and do mean that he is trying and that is even better than anything because if, if he is trying he does have feelings for you and does want the relationship to work so that is important um so what you should do is you know when he goes out just distract yourself you know um take a bath you know read a book do some homework catch up on some homework do things that you can't do do when he is around like you know go out with your friends make plans guys like an independent woman you know what i mean so you know what i mean i can't believe i just said that <laughs> um but they like someone who isn't completely clingy and dependent, so, you know, just do your own thing, and when he comes back, you know, talk to him, and, and, but, you know, the whole time, you know, just don't be texting him and asking him a million questions, you know, ask how it went, but, you know, don't be all up in his business, <laughs> um, and, honestly, like, the whole theme, like I said, is you need to realize that you can't control him, and once that be kind of becomes habit in your head, then the jealousy will subside, but it does take kind of a little while, so that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, so our second scenario. Your ex is dating someone new. Your thought process. You want to kill him, and you want to kill her, and you want to spread dirty rumors about her, and, you know, you're pissed. You're upset because he's moved on before you, or, you know, whatever. And you need to realize that he makes his own choices, especially now that you two aren't together, and you can't control him. Back to the theme of the whole video. Um, 
but you know you need to remember that if it's meant to happen it's gonna happen you just have to have faith in whatever you have faith in i just have faith in the universe you know what i mean if it's meant to be it's meant to be just let it be okay so if you try to sabotage the relationship or you know try to butt yourself in you know he's n you will never have a chance to be with him again ever if you do that you have to be classy and you have to be just you know be so respectful because she probably thinks you know he's a great guy and you know she's happy that she's in this new relationship and it's, it has nothing to do with her it's him that you're mad at not her so don't go and you know sabotage her and everything that, that's just not cool and he's not gonna be okay with that if you're you know talking bad about his new girlfriend or you know trying to get him back you just you don't want to be that other girl and you don't you don't want to be that horrible clingy ex so definitely just you know give him time and I know how hard it is believe me this is not something easy but if you do love him and if you do have feelings for him over anything you want him to be happy and no matter how hard it is it's true so unfortunately that's what we have to do so the solution do not stalk him do not stalk her. And if you're going to talk bad about her, talk to your mom about it. Do not talk about anyone else. You do not want it to get back to her that, you know, you've been talking bad about her. But if you need to vent, vent your mom because, you know, she's not going to go tell people. Um, but, you know, just don't go talking about her because that just doesn't look good on your part. You look desperate and, you know, you just don't want that. Um, so what you should do, well, he is out and gallivanting with his new girlfriend. You should find yourself. Like, you know, you were probably in a relationship, you probably lost your identity and you were dependent on him. So now just figure out things that you like to do as an individual. You know, like try yoga, start working out, you know, try cooking, find yourself a hobby that you really like to do. Distract yourself. You get jealous when you're sitting at home and fuming and have nothing else to concentrate on. Believe me, that's the truth. Um, and also, you need to, you know, if he's the first one to move on, you know, start to go out on dates. I would honestly never say no to an opportunity unless it is, you know, more of an unsafe thing, you don't feel safe, but just say yes to everything so that you surround yourself by people, you know, you meet new people, just never say no to like a party invitation or an invitation to go out because it's just, you know, like networking and you're going to feel good going out and doing things um, instead of just sitting at home by yourself. So even if you don't feel like it, just say yes. Jealousy can be so overwhelming, believe me, I know. The feeling for me is like you get a tight chest, you feel so sick to your stomach, and you feel like you're going crazy. You feel like you're completely out of your mind. But you can fix it. If you just remember that you just need to let it be, and you can't control anyone, and, you know, if it's meant to be, he'll come back to you, then that's really all that you can do. So, here's our contest. Um, the, my only rule is you have to be a subscriber. And what the contest is, is post a video response of a situation where you were jealous uh, or felt, you know, jealous and how you dealt with it or how you dealt with it and how you should have dealt with it. It can be text, it can be you talking, it can be pictures, it can be anything. Creativity, it's completely up to you. The contest ends September 28th, so I believe that's a week from today. And um, the prizes are, it's going to be a whole bunch of lush stuff. So be excited for that, and I'm not going to be doing a prizes video for a while because with Lush, you know, you want everything to be fresh, so I'm not going to buy it until right before I send it out, but I'll do a video on, like, what I'm going to buy and everything for the contest. Um, there will be one winner, and there will be runner-up prizes as well. So definitely get your videos in before September 28th, and I'm excited because I'm sure a lot of these will be really funny. So there we go. There is how I overcame jealousy. And I really hope that this helped you guys. Honestly, if you guys have any questions or you want to talk to me about this, believe me, I'm here for you. I will definitely help you. If you email me, woodwindx at yahoo.com, I'll put the link in the down bar. Um, I, it's kind of iffy if you send me a message here on YouTube. I sometimes get it, sometimes don't. So definitely it's better to email me and I'll respond a lot faster. So um, I wish you the best of luck in all of your jealous situations. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody.